Hey, welcome. We are going to look at one of the most dreaded shots in golf. That is the plug lie in the sand. So you've hit an iron shot, it's gone a little bit offline. Maybe there's too much sand in some of the bunkers and it's just plugged, you know? It's just some courses you're going to get lots of plug lies, others maybe not so much. Here I've got a nice plug lie, pretty flat. So I've got to hit it maybe eight yards to get to the green. So if you look at the plug lie, the ball is below the surface of the ground. So if my swing of the club head comes in too much sideways, I'm going to have a hard time getting to the bottom of this golf ball. So it's going to come out along the ground or I'm going to hit it behind the ball and just move it a few feet. So what we have to do, we take our most lofty club, our sand wedge, your 58, your 60, whatever you use. My personal preference is 58. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make as much loft to get to the bottom of this ball as possible. So if we know that it's below the surface of the sand, I have to go digging for it. I have to go more downwards, okay? If I my swings forwards, I'm gonna have a hard time getting to the bottom of the golf ball. So normal bunkers technique would be standing wide, shaft neutral, open face, hit slightly down, let the ball pop up in the air, okay? We can adjust that here. There's two ways I'd like to play it, and I'm gonna show you the step one, really the easiest way to get it out and move the ball. And then we'll go to a bit more of an advanced one where you could get a bit more height, maybe get the ball to stop a little bit, okay? First one, we're gonna play the ball a little bit further back in our stance, narrow our feet, and we're gonna have the face less open than normal. And the reason for that is, if I take my face open, the back edge drops down, I have more bounce. That's a sliding effect, okay? If I turn it closed or square, the leading edge is now lower, I can dig easier. So I'm gonna play this one with a little bit of shaft lean, square face, the ball towards my back, the motion's gonna be a vertical hinge and a downwards blow, okay? What we're trying to do is force the club under the ball before it goes forwards, okay? So it's gonna be very steep. I'm adding a lot of steep components to this swing. Closing the face, early hinge, weight left, downwards blow, okay? I'm gonna aim for about an inch and a half to two inches maybe and just go down and I'm you know I'm gonna I'm gonna flex a little bit keep strong wrists on this one we don't we don't want to come in here and be all soft with our wrists here's my practice swing you can't do this in tournaments I'm just gonna show you for the the video here so I'm gonna go hinge down that divot is nice and long and it's down and under this will move the ball out of that lie okay so let's have a go here so I'm gonna place a little bit of weight left Little bit of shuffling, very early hinge. There we go, and we're out on the green. Probably took a bit too much sand on that one. If you notice, I stopped, I got a bit too steep. Let's bang that in the ground, make it a little plugged. There we go. Now I'm gonna be a bit more swing through. There we go, that one was better. That landed over the bunker. It's probably rolled out 20 feet, so not getting much spin there, okay? So that's really our easiest way, you know, if you really struggle and you just gotta get it out, that's the way to do it. There is another way. Now this was uh, a bit more of a tour shot, but if, you know, if you're at that standard, let's give this one a go. So this one I can get a bit more height to. So Seve was probably the wedge master in my opinion back in the 80s, 90s. He was my idol growing up. And um, if you watched him play a plug lie and he had tight pins, not a lot of green to play with, he could hit it extremely soft from this lie. What he would do, he would lay the face wide, wide open, big lunge left, because that gets into steep, but he's actually trying to get more loft to the bottom of the ball, okay? So he's gonna come down like this. We're gonna keep the face as wide open as we can in the backswing. We're keeping it open and downwards coming down and then keep the club low. This is gonna be a big thump and hopefully a bit more height to the ball. See how we do here. There we go. That ball actually had a little check on it. Probably didn't go as far as the other one by about five feet. So a little bit less rollout. Harder shot to execute. 
got to have more speed because if we come down with that wide of a face and no speed, the ball is just going to go right here in front of you. Okay, so get in and try them. I would recommend this one to start with. Just get confident doing this and through. The ball's going to come out a little hot, not really going to stop. But at least you're on the green. Your next shot's a putt rather than another bunker shot or a chip shot. If you feel more confident with that, start to try it. Lay that face open, hinge this way, down and under. Okay, thanks for joining me on this quick video tip and uh, please subscribe and like all the videos down below and I look forward to seeing you guys next time out here on the golf course.